guys so we have created the uh, on text change and on uh, submit of functions for this uh, add user component next what we'll do is we'll create action and we'll create a reducer for this so let's start with the action so add user this will get a user object here okay so we'll use the same axios to uh, add the user to the json server so we'll return a function to redux middleware so axios so now we'll use the post method because post is to post the data so the endpoint is going to stay the same okay now we need to pass the user object here user object okay so dot then let's console log this okay and will dispatch an action type will be add user uh, what you can do is we you can create a separate file for uh, keeping this constant so that you can you don't have to uh, write this in both the places like you're writing this here as well as you're writing this in the reducer so in, a, in order to avoid spelling mistakes, you can create a separate file and you can import it from there. So it's, since because the application is very tiny, I'm not doing it. Payload will give the response dot data. Okay. And we'll also put the catch block. just console log it but you can also do uh, exception handling and error handling and you can also dispatch actions in this catch case also as well but for now we won't be doing it we won't uh, go very much deep into this uh, things uh, so yeah so so our action is done we'll go to the reducer now so let's just copy this and we'll create a new case here Return. we have to return the state and uh, since the new user will be coming we have to add that new user to this users list so we'll, we'll create a constant users is equal to state dot users user dot users dot dot concat and we will <coughs> add this new user action dot payload okay and we will pass this users here so as uh, this uh, this list of users will be appended to our new object new state object and after this is done we can call this uh, user action where is it yeah we can call this add user in our add user file so let us import connect first we we'll import the actions Now we'll map it down.
okay and now we will call this add user and we will pass the state okay. so and uh, once uh, we have submitted the data we have to set the state as set this as empty like this dot set state and we'll just copy this and paste it because we need to keep it blank okay so this is done so let us just check in the front end so we'll add here dot stays in delhi and say he is a editor okay now just click on add user what happened dispatch catch is not a function okay catch we need to put it outside not inside Okay, so add user. Okay, now status says that it has been created, but it is not displaying here. We'll go, we'll check this why it is not being created in the next video.